Hello and welcome back to Tormenta Plays Seven Days to Die, Day Ten. So, uh, as we always do, see, see Iron Man. Right. Um, so what did I do last night? I saw there my gear. I put a fourth box down. So this is all like cars and bits. I got loads of springs. I don't know if I had any, but yeah, cars and bits and pieces. Electricals are there. My armors. I got a bunch of different armors now. And I got the mods. So the, looking at the mods, this explains things like, well, where's your barbed club? Well, that must be it there, cl clearly. Um, so let's, let's play with that as well. What about this one? This is clubs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is clubs, and this is clubs. This one is bleeding. This one is through armor. I want this one. Because I do believe my club has got two modifier slots. It has. There you go. Oh, look at that right now. Oh, oh, oh. my club is just awesome. Um. Okay, where else? Yeah, I've kind of just... Well, I haven't really sorted that, have I? <laughs> and we got our food. Lack of food. Not enough eggs to make decent food. And this other food, it just... It's not even going to touch the sides. I got some more water in there. And I'm currently putting together enough bits and pieces. This should be the finish in here. Yep. 18 bits and pieces, in fact. Why 18? I guess 18 is enough. To make my new wrench. Yay! I've also continued to extend this slowly. I mean, it's not as many hours of my night. I think we ended last session at like 1 a.m. It's only 4 now. But I dashed around and did as much as I could in the, in the time that I had. So we're, we're getting there. So we were talking farms, weren't we? Now, do me a farm plot needs rotten, rotten meat. How much do we have? I haven't classed it as food. Probably a good call. We have 22. There's all my seeds there, so... Got a good selection of seeds. Farm plot. Farm plot. Needs... 10 rotten. 100 clear. We can get that. 25 nitrates. What are we doing for nitrates? Yes, we're fine. So we've got enough for... Cut the plots. I need a load of clay. I mean, why the hell not? Why not? Let's just crack on. There's not a lot of clay here that I can. Oh, zombie dog day. <laughs> there is a zombie dog day. It's day 10, folks. Right, okay. You should, hopefully they'll all come here, yeah. Or at least the majority. How many zombie dogs is that? I mean, seriously? So, there you go. Zombie dog day, folks. I talked about it long enough. In fact, when I stopped talking about it, we had one. Look at these zombie dogs, that is. Imagine if that caught you out in the open. <laughs> you were in a house, clearing a house, and then this lot come running in through the door. <laughs> I mean, really? You would just have no chance. They would cut you to pieces. And that's what this base is good for. I mean, look at that. What carnage. Now, are there any other 
zombie dogs that decided that they weren't going to stand underneath me. I think we're fine. Let's jump across to our other base. They didn't. Oh, they did see in that short amount of time they took out one edge. They're vicious. They really are. Just beasts. I'm just checking to make sure there's not. Sometimes you get like ones that just weird stragglers that go off and do their own thing. I mean, if there's one, okay, I, I can I can kite melee one. And not. It's not that that I'm worried about. It's just a surprise attack. It's not can I take it. It's just that. Where did that come from? I'm getting bitten. But they move fast. I mean, they, they, they shift. Yeah, and if this lot caught you in a house, away from your base, you weren't really ready. Charged into the door. That would be bad, folks. So, everybody watching, day 10, if you weren't away, Alpha 19, day 10, zombie dog day. God, oh, it's taking me long enough just to get through all these bodies. Pay my, pay my knife. But I wanted more rotting meat. Wow, I've got a ton of it now. Loads of rotting meat. So maybe they turned up magically because we wanted to make a garden. That's where it was. Fantastic, look at it all. Just tons of rotting meat. The extra leathers are always nice. And bones mean glue. Glue means duct tape. So all in all, fantastic. Just checking out anymore, out and about there, in the area that didn't quite finish their run at me. I mean, it's right if there are, we'll smash. Oh, look at my club. Never put the spikes mod on it. Oh, man. Oh, 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 I like my club. Oh, I am really happy with the new club. So there's another arrow there. Maybe it was just a light, or it could have just disappeared. Oh, I like my club, folks. They've made the mods change the artwork. Rah. Oh, I've got to try my club out. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we were, before we were rudely interrupted by loads of zombie dogs. Getting ourselves... Hey. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we've had Zombie Dog Day. Not that that means there's not going to be another one for a little while. I mean, who knows? Maybe they were so cruel as to have day 11 be a zombie dog day as well as day 10. Oh, yeah, I've created a hole. That's the whole thing whereby it looks like there's something, but there's not. Because that's actually flat. They've created a hole. Ah! ah I could fill it. Oh, I really don't. That's going to... No, I'll put, I'll put um, cobblestone in when I get around to doing it. See, there's not a lot more here I can remove without me thinking about structural support of 
the main water base. Which is also my storage base. I mean, it's everything. This one building here. Losing that would be a massive setback. It's, it's my crafting, it's my storage, it's my water, it's... <laughs> if that went... I mean, it's not game over, don't get me wrong. It's just... That would be a... An ouch moment. Where you would just look at the rubble on the floor. And go, hmm. That's not good. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, we've got... I need... I need to get my... I got loads of stuff. I need to get the cement mixer started. you got to think, look, it's day 10. You're running out of days. You're going to be at day 14 before you know it. You want to upgrade some stuff. But I need farm plots. I've got enough clay for one. One farm plot. It's going to be expensive on the old clay, isn't it? I can see me just digging massive trenches in this area somewhere. I, I don't want to dig a trench for the zombies to fall in. Because that just encourages them to tunnel down. Why? Why, why would I want them to tunnel down? That just makes it so I can't see them. And they potentially then go for my mine. So no, <laughs> I won't be encouraging them to tunnel down. Cement mixer, cement mixer, where are you? 25 forged iron, four springs I've got, got 10 mechanical. I need seven mechanical, so we need to do this today. And go and get that other car. Don't need them on there. I like having them on there, but I don't need them on there. Right, let's get a farm plot. Where's my farm going to start? I'm thinking here. There you go, farm plot. And we might as well plant something. If it lets us. Purely because... Just... just uh, yeah, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm everything. Purely because we need to get things growing. The most useful thing to grow out of all these things, I would have said, was a potato, but I don't actually have any potato seeds. Corn might be my next option. It is food. Yeah. Okay. A corn seed is going to be my one and only plant. Bong. There you go. Right, okay. Now... I should need to replant it if it's like the others. It'll I'll just be able to harvest it without destroying it. Okay. Let's go and get some mechanical parts. I also need the metal. I need to make more pieces of iron. Yeah, imagine this now if I put myself down to zero stamina. And then had all of those zombie dogs. <laughs> I mean, that is just... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> I couldn't run. I couldn't fight. Just stand there and be dinner. Dinner for a bunch of dogs. Oh, stop. Just target the cat. Target the cat, please. <laughs> so, yeah, even... Though this is normal settings, which some of you experienced people would be saying, oh, come on. It is Iron Man. And a mass of zombie dogs. Like we just seen. Catching me unawares. Could well be game over. Now, there were some dog days in the past. Let's, let's cover this point now. There were some dog days in the past that had more than one wave of dogs. 
during the day. I don't know if it was a case of if it spawn if the game spawned uh, a horde. Because it was dog day, it would just spawn away the dogs. So it is possible on that premise that we have another one. Another way of dogs. Which could be entertaining. <laughs> for you. Not so much for me. No, of course it would be entertaining for me. I see another cat over there. Let's just make our way. Oh, there's one over there. <coughs> Excuse me. I also seen a yeah, cat there. Our friendly birds, our daily friendly birds. Head towards this cow over here. Um, no, I don't need to spend time harvesting that. I've got a ton of all that. What I wanted actually was more clay, but I'm not gonna mess. Oh, is this potato? What is this potato? No potato seeds, they're just potatoes. Now, although I was thinking just now growing potato, I do believe baking potato is now behind a recipe. I'm not quite sure how you could get that wrong. I mean, even if you just threw a potato on your campfire and then dug it out from the ashes, that's edible. So, I mean, baked potato is probably one of the easiest things on a survival kind of game to cook. <laughs> you just chuck it in the fire and fish it out. I mean, what's the worst that can happen if you've got a bite into it and it's like... It's not quite cooked. You just check it back in. <laughs> oh, come on, I want to test my club on. I do like the look of my new club. <laughs> you had in a box. I have no issue with you having a toilet in a box. Because you could have had it delivered. But why did the toilet have water in it? They deliver you a toilet that somebody's actually already peed in, maybe. Because <laughs> it's not going to be water from the mains. Somebody at the Toilets RS thinks, I know I'm going <laughs> to send this guy at the toilet. I will pee in first. Right, let's look at this other car. Oh, this game does have some funny stuff in it. I can hear a dog. I can hear a dog. It's the wrong kind of dog. Well, I say wrong kind. There he is. We are encumbered. But I want to test out my smash in the face. Come on, dog. Arr. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't like that, did you? <laughs> He's just gone. I'm out of here. There was a zombie here too, wasn't it? Ah, oh, he's walked off now. The dog will be back. It'll come and chase me down in a moment. Here it comes. Come on, dog. Come and test out my new club. Oh, I missed. <laughs> you bit me. Oh, and you're going to run away. <laughs> Damn you. I missed. It's okay. I mean, he doesn't look like a zombie dog. Not that you have to be a zombie dog to be infected. Come on, dog. Ah, oh, you're worse than those flipping buzzards now. You're going to just mess me around. Try 
top bit of which I know I shot this dog, so I'm kind of familiar. Now he's he's too upset that I have spikes on my club. He's still think. Oh, here he comes! No, no, no! There he goes. Nah, I'm not going to chase him. Oh, I was hoping just to get rid of that dog. A few smashes in the face, but he's too busy playing around. Right, I'm not going to. I keep saying not going to, but then I turn around. <laughs> I have a habit of that, don't I? Saying stuff like, yeah, I'm not going to open anything, then I open it. <laughs> oh. So, where were we? What were we doing? I've even lost track myself now. Right, okay. Besides the fact we're just thirst is ripping us to pieces I have potato I have an egg I can make another bacon I'm not gonna worry about food right now there was something else we were doing we were looking at the cement mixers weren't we so cement mixer 25 forged iron was what I'm missing which yet again is clay I think it might be an issue here Split this in half. No, we were okay for clay in there. We are okay for clay. Let's convert this into some more arrows. Just in the preparation towards night 14. That's what it's all about. I'm going to just eat some other food. I do like having a real nice stockpile of tins. And I expect you guys do as well. Just have this big pile of tins. You can look in the pantry and go, look at all the food I got. But for now, no. Eat them. I still need to think about what I'm going to put this fence. I mean, it's just wrecked. There's a zombie. Zombie. Uh -huh. Yeah, copyright and all that. I know. But you can all sing it. Now I've given you the earworm. There's probably a dog coming up behind me, isn't there? Nice club. I... Yeah, the dog's way off. Yeah. Ah! Let's guess where it's going to be. Oh, well. Unless you're dropping it right now on me. It's just way off over there. Oh, I can see the smoke. <laughs> Never to be found. How are we looking now? Oh, this will be enough. Oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, mate, no. How many did I need? I keep forgetting. I don't even think I can look in here. I got... Was it 25, 30? What was it again? Oh, come on. <laughs> Why can't you even find your cement mixer? What's going on? You crazy person. I can't. Tools. Am I just looking in the wrong thing? Why can't I find my cement mixer? Have I got? Have I lost the plot? Yeah, probably. Uh, I got the parts. Twenty-five. We've got twenty-five being done. Great. We will have a cement mixer any moment, which means in this place I didn't want to have as a crafting long term. I need to do this. Well, maybe not all of my stone, but I need to start sticking stone in there for cement. And that's 25. I'm creating all of my crafting things in a place where I said to you people, don't do it. Especially the cement mixer. It's going to just draw them. <laughs> oh, why not? Let's just spice it up. Let's just, let's do what you're not supposed to do. 
just so you can see the carnage that it's going to cause. It will just generate loads of zombies. And it'll just be like, oh, there's another zombie. And another zombie. What? 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 What fell? Did part of this fall? What? That structure there is gone. Why? What? Why? <laughs> Just random, like, bits of words coming from me. Part of it fell away. Okay, well that 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 worries me. Uh, I've never seen that before. So what we can do? I mean, don't panic. What we can do is just we all need to build. Well, I've got this. We all just need to build maybe an an outer layer to this, which is not a, a bad idea because at the moment when I'm up there crafting and doing stuff, people can see me, monsters can see me, and I don't want to be seen. I do need light in here. I'm just going to chuck these randomly about here for now. They need proper. <laughs> you can't even see that. It is in there. It'll probably generate some light. And when I come down and do my mining later, they'll... I'll sort them out. Okay, well, to, to do this, and what I want to do, that's so much clay. Clay right now is becoming a massive issue. I don't know that. Way bigger than I anticipated. Uh, I know you don't want to see this, but I'm just, just, just thinking. Thinking a moment. When I'm thinking, I might as well be just dumping some stuff in here okay i need clay um we need clay lots of clay i don't want to dig big pits i don't uh, yeah so not not as a defensive structure for my base now we can build big pits I already got one of them. Doesn't matter. We can build big pits to somewhere else. I don't want it close enough to encourage them to tunnel. But that's not saying that we can't have one over here. And just literally start along the edge of this road and just have a massive trench that just gets bigger and bigger because if they fall in yeah they'll tunnel a little bit but they won't necessarily tunnel anywhere near where my mine is going to be my mine's not going to come this direction it's going to go that way Towards the bear. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's fine. If they want to make themselves little tunnels over here, they can. We will let them make their own mine. I'm fine with that. That pile of stuff over there. I think it's going to be just the same. It would be cool if that pile over there was just clay. In reality, if there was a building site, it'd be sand. I mean, you're not going to pile up clay unless you were a potter's. But then, I mean, seriously, how much clay do you need? You know, it usually comes in bags, not a massive mound. 
inside the building. If any of you are a potter and you have a massive mound of clay outside, take a photo, stick the photo on the internet somewhere and put the link in the comments so I can look at all your clay. I was going to say so I can look at your mound, but that, yeah, again, all kinds of wrong. I don't, I don't want those kinds of photos, guys. No, no links to showing me your mound. But if you've got loads of clay, and it's not in a bag, it's just a big pile of clay. I would be interested. Oh, okay. Everything is going to need clay. Cobblestones, clay. Although, think on this, think on this. Are you thinking this through correctly, Tormunder? Once you've got your cement, you surely don't need to start off a cobblestone and work your way up. You can go straight down with a cement block. Well, you should be able to go straight down with a cement block. So I won't need all this clay. I do for the farm. Yes, of course. But that's for a farm. I don't even have the seeds. Let's go and see if my cement mixer is ready now. It should be. Yes. Okay. I can't believe part of that wall fell down. Just randomly by there. Hmm. Okay, cement mixers. Ah, yeah, we're going to need some. Let's not go crazy because this stuff really does attract bad guys. So, here we go. This is where you're just never going to have enough stone. You, oh, I'm creating sand, actually. Don't, don't, don't do that. I, I got sand. <laughs> I got loads of sand. Don't destroy what stone I have to make more sand. That's, that's a habit that is from... When I don't usually have sand. I mean, look, I got like a thousand sand. That's just old habits straight away. What am I looking for? What I'm looking for is going to be in here. If it even got that far. Cement. I'm going to need so much stone. <sighs> Now, this whole cement process in the cement mixer in a minute, because I don't have to do the sand that well, because I'm not currently doing the sand, that will save some issues with the madness that the cement mixer is. But let's talk about this. Usually, I don't know if this has changed, Usually, each craft cycle generates, like, a threat. Draw them towards you. Encourage spawning of the screechers. So, whacking 300 sand in there that takes just literally a, you know, a minute or two just for it to chew through gives you a high generation of, like, the heat map around you saying... I'm over here, come and get me. <sighs> I can make a straight concrete block. That's good news. So I don't have to do cobble first. I have enough for one upgrade. I I'm, I'm going to do the one upgrade. I'm not going to lay any more cobble down. I think this should be the last of my cobble, even on the sides. It's going to be the process now of upgrading the existing cobble. They didn't like this one last time. Let's upgrade it. Upgrade the existing cobble. I mean, I'm going to have to upgrade the wood to cobble. So there's an inevitable expenditure here of cobble. But new locations are not going to be cobble. 
I still haven't decided what I'm doing with all this. Just ruined fencing. Oh, I need to make a decision on this fencing. I need to make a decision. While I've got fences, I'm keeping the fences. I'm not going to knock fences down for their metal. That would be foolish. But I do need to replace the fencing with something else. And I have a layer of spikes out there. And this fencing is not on this side, because you can see, because I can place blocks. So the fencing is actually on the outside block, not the inside block. So I can't start building something new in the outside block around us. Not that I would, because it would be next to these legs. So whatever replacement I do for the fencing is actually going to be built from the inside. Which is no bad thing. <sighs> now, ideally, I would say if we had the material, I would go for... I probably can't show it. It's probably not on my list here. But I would go for metal bars, steel bars. Just some, like a massive prison effect. With some support posts. So that I can shoot through it. I can shoot through the barbed wire. I don't believe I can shoot through this. Well, let's just try. Does this arrow hit over there or does it hit the fence? Oh, I can shoot through. <laughs> I can shoot through. <sighs> How much does it cost to make? <laughs> How much is this going to cost me? I don't even know where fencing is going to be listed. It's probably going to be in the workbench. In the smelter. It's not going to be in the smelter, is it? I mean, we will check. I am Barsi. That's what I would normally do. Okay, it is here. So, a fence is going to be 18 iron and one clay. This is just just tons more. I mean, it's not even worth thinking about that in the comparison point of view. So to answer my question there, it's going to be... If you're going to place down new things for the future, then steel bars would be a good call. I'm actually going to upgrade some of this stuff now. If it's going to be... If this is going to function, let's make it function. Okay, so... The answer is, in the future, I need some kind of support posts and steel bars. It's not going to be a solid block like I'm doing here because I can't see through it, I can't shoot through it. I'm doing this at the moment because I have clear holes in my fence that I just want to block up. It's purely for that and that only. Okay. I have a plan. Yeah, I need to think about at some point putting on the inside of this literally back to back steel fencing and we'll go ahead and make one if we can if I've got the resources just to get the process going wow that's such a massive amount of resource 125 metal just just et all my clay wow Just 
Wow. Let's just add more clay to the pile. I'm going to need it. Clay is just this ongoing thing, isn't it? I am going to dig a trench. I dig a trench because if this is all going to be steel bars, I'm going to need a lot of clay. Right. Did I do a center on an edge? I did an edge. Good. So, yeah, what you're going to get, as you can see here, and I'm going to stick it to some random place here because this needs the extra protection. Oh, oh. I can actually get this one done ready. Although if they destroy the wooden block, which they probably will, this will just collapse. So that's maybe not the smartest move. We're going to just put it here. So yeah, so the, I'm going to have two high. Or three high. Two high on the bad wire. Might be, might be nice. This stuff is a lot stronger than that. Uh, let's actually see how much. So these have got 300 hit points. And not that high a durability. This, oh yes, I am going to damage it. I'll just put it. It's 2,500 hit points and a lot of durability. And it just requires a normal standard block to repair. So that's, that's good. I need two more. We can get some more blocks done. Okay, well, now we're in a position yet again whereby, unless I can start making something entertaining to say and having entertaining things in the show, it's going to be pretty boring. I need stone. Because this is just going to be many hours grinding away in front of my cement mixer and stuff. That's no fun, is it? And, and digging for more and more and more stone. So, what can I do to make these episodes more entertaining while I am in the very slow process of getting my base upgraded? for night 14. I mean, I can't leave it to just the night. I'm not going to have enough hours for just the night to do what I need to do. I could make them shorter and then do interesting stuff like go off and look at houses for like the first part of the day and then craft my base in the second half of the day and then maybe at the beginning of every episode when I you know when we log in I can sort of take you for a quick tour and say oh yeah so this is this is the current progress I mean that's not a bad idea it'll make the episode shorter which also is not necessarily a bad idea Just, yeah, what I'm doing now, <laughs> that's not fun to watch, is it? Like, oh yeah, what's he doing? Yeah, he's, he's hitting another rock. So I think what we'll do is I'll go about these episodes like I am right now, filming the full day and talking rubbish at you. And then I'll listen to it back. And if I think, you know what? This whole section can be cut. Then I'll cut it. Which means, because if they're not planned cuts like I would try and do in a normal episode sort of thing, series whereby I'm gonna say, right, we're gonna skip forward now. Because I'm not gonna know when that is like right now it could just jump you like, hang on where'd it go it's like what, why is he now fighting zombies he was just standing on top of his base 
But that's the way we're going to roll, folks. I think just jumping forward until something exciting turns up. It's actually... Look at that. Look, look at this, folks. That's dark out there. Oh, it was for a moment. I mean, for the first time, like ages, I was thinking, what, is it actually going to get dark? I mean, maybe that's the thing. Maybe I've got this all wrong, and in, in the new version, they start off the game with you having quite light night times. To kind of, like, get you experienced. And then it just gets darker as the game goes on. Because this is darker than the usual... Oh my god, it's still like the middle of the day, even though it's already night time. I mean, don't get me wrong, this isn't what I would consider to be dark, but... Is it because there's like a, a, a smoke storm thing coming in? It's like a random event that's just making lots of smoke. See, because there's a lot of this smoke billowing through that makes it look dark. Maybe that's just like a weather event, like raining, and this is like a smoke thingy. Uh, maybe. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, the good thing about making this stuff is you don't need, like, to give it wood or any kind of power. It just is. I can't even remember if it needed a, an engine. I built it and didn't even look. Maybe th these don't anymore. Which is fine. Oh, can I make a block outside of the cement mixer. No, I think I've got to prepare blocks in here. That's okay. Okay, another two more. Some more blocks. And then I'll use the last, oh, I was gonna say I'll use the last bit to upgrade outside, but force, force not enough. I need more. Oh, yeah, my little holes in the ground are Really useful. Uh, Alright, cement. I need more cement. Right, so you're probably saying, why, why did you ask for blocks and when you're supposed to be upgrading these outside? And the answer to that is, I'm just a little concerned at the fact that this bit has fell down. I, I want to... I want to offer some more support to my main building here. And the best way to do that is to replace some of this stuff with concrete. And in the process of doing so, I will get more clay. Because all this needs to come out and be replaced. Like that. Although if it's going to fall apart... Don't don't know why it did that. Right, okay, that's enough. Let's go and make another upgrade block. I have five pieces of stick there. Fantastic, that's good news. Food is becoming say a major major issue now. Where's my food supply? Uh, I, I can turn a lot of this meat into, yeah, just oh, boiled meat, grilled meat, whatever. So you're thinking, you got loads of food, what's the matter with you? Tons. That's not the best use of my meat. 
recipes with meat in it for the best use of my meat. Okay, I've got an upgrade. <laughs> I need a cobble. I mean, really, I probably need to start at the second height first. Because that's what they hit more often. They hit the, the second one a lot more than they hit the ground one. But I'm going to upgrade them all before night 14. So I don't really care. Right, let's take this support pillar out. Because it all just comes crashing down. And my answer to that is, if it's going to come crashing down, I'd rather it do it without me being on it. <laughs> Crashing down while I'm on it would be really bad. Crashing down when I can just watch it come down. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's not okay, but... I will be alive to sulk. Oh, I've got one spare piece of concrete. And you can't really do much with one piece of concrete. It's just... <sighs> there you go. I mean, these in theory need to be upgraded at some point. But those would be my last upgrades. There's no need at all. Right now to upgrade those. In fact, I think this candle was, for me, in my hole. It was. See, right, folks, that's it. I don't even think I gained a level. No. So as I said, I'm, I'm going to just be skipping there, guys. So that's the end of this episode, the next episode. I might not even start at 4 a.m., because I'll probably just be crafting and I might jump in at like midday and we'll just do a short episode that way round where I start later and I'll show you where I did and still leave in the afternoon to go and search building but I'm going to record the whole time probably so that if I get something really interesting happening I can you know keep it and show you That's all, folks. Uh, please subscribe. Please like. Please leave comments. Tell me what you want. Let's get that day 14 ASAP. See you now.